Hey, welcome back, and uh, this morning let's draw uh, Corliss from uh, House of the Dragon. And he's got a really cool look, I love his hair. Um, darker skin, so we're gonna have to draw a lot more shading. And actually the, sh the lighting is almost in the shade. So it's gonna be a little bit uh, trickier because it's a lot of little subtle shading. There's some bounce light um, from, from, the, uh, from the environment. So this one could be a little bit tricky, uh, very subtle. But let's just give this a shot because he is a pretty cool character. All right, so let's draw this. And I am using my 6B with a pencil extension so that I can hold it a little bit further back. Easier for this kind of uh, motion. Just gives it more variety. All right, so let's draw him and let's see. Let's say side to side on the eye line here. I'm just gonna draw about that size. And then I'll start with one eyeball. And then in between here, actually this is going to be way too small. Okay, that was bad. I wasn't even looking at my own guidelines here. Okay, so let's say that's the size. And his eyes, it looks a little bit smaller here because normally if this is one eye spacing, the other ones would be, um, the other eyeball would be right around here. But it looks a little bit further out, so I'm just going to double this. And then give myself a little bit more space. And I'll draw the other one. Okay, and then the eyeball inside. I'm just gonna jump to this one first. Okay, so everything is pretty horizontal, so if I can keep that horizontal line here, you know, then my drawing won't be uh, slanted, as a lot of them do be, end up being. Okay, so let's draw in, he's got a little bit of expression, very subtle. The upper lid. And then let's draw in this area right here. Corner of the eye, here. This part should be darker. Let's draw in. Well, let's come up and draw in the the eyebrow here. So the spacing, uh, if you look at it, it's like a one eye and more. So probably somewhere over here. And then this one, you can see at the angle right here, corner of the eye to this. So we know how long the eyebrow is gonna be. And his eyebrow is slightly slanting down, so. And then let's come across. Here. And then the hair is gonna cover part of his face. I guess that'll make it a little bit easier, maybe. This one's too high. See my slant? I always slant up there. Okay, so lots of little shading here. Let's get started back with the eye because I think it looks okay. So I'm just going to start let's add in some shading here, have a little fun. Okay, so it's saving the highlight, just add a little block in there. And then again, his skin is darker, so it'll just be a lot more shading. You know, you won't get the uh, bright highlight. So in a way, it's a little bit harder because that means you're gonna uh, um, add in a lot more shading here, and it'll make it a lot harder to erase things out. So that's that's the only thing. Brow. Yeah, this could be pretty cool if I can add in a little shading because it's got a lot of um, structures on his face. It's very bold. Let's 
See, there's a crease right here. So the highlights right here, again, it's not going to be as bright, so you just have to give it a shade. Here, this nose across here, give this a light shade, and let's draw in, let's draw on this side. Again, upper eyelid always dark here, so we can hit that pretty hard. So hair's gonna come down here, which is just draw a little slant there, just kind of cut it off. Highlight here. I'm just constantly looking back and forth. Just look at this area. Just little patches. And just try to shade that. Here's darker shadow from the from the hair right here. Yeah, lots of little things going on here. So even got some highlights up here, but let's come down to to the nose because I think uh, we kind of have a decent first pass on on the eye. So let's add in the other features. So his nose. It's wider. So if you come down here from that corner of the eye, it should be right around here. Okay, this line. And then on this side, it's because his face is turned, so it's gonna come down, looks like all the way here from this part of the eye. So this is gonna be the width of his nose. So how we see the uh, the length of the nose right here, I'm just gonna adjust from the corner of the eye. Almost a 45, yeah, close to 45 degree angle. So probably somewhere over here. So let's give us his nose. And let's see, we can check that. I'll just run this, run this across. Let's check this. This angle, maybe like somewhere over here. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so now that we have the width, now we we'll just draw in the details. Nostril, nostril here. I'll just shade that because it's darkest, so it's easier. So once we hit that, then I put in the rest. So there's a highlight coming on the side here, which is really cool. But again, let's give this a shade first because there's really no. Uh, really white areas here, except for the brow here. It looks like it's catching some uh, direct sunlight. Okay, so here is the terminator right here. The nose. Again, this is kind of round. And let's see, right here. And then it's catching the bounce light here, so you can leave that bottom part slightly wider. Here, this one's dark. Okay, again, uh, bounce line from the bottom and the side. This is wider. Yeah, lots of cool shading going on here. Let's see, let's make this a little bit darker here so we can see the the lighting from the side. So here's the, the wider area. So this part has to be a little bit darker.
nose right here. This right here is a little bit darker. And by making this dark right here, it's going to bring out the wings of the nose. So I'm shading this right here. Okay, a little bit of creasing right here. And then the hair, again, it's going to cut it off. Well, let's just draw a line like that. All right, so that's his nose. Uh, it looks okay. Let's keep going. Um, let's see. Let me draw part of the side of the face right here. Okay, well, let's come down then. Let's draw in the lip. Okay, so the mustache. Mustache here. And then his lip. So his upper lip looks like it's almost covered by this mustache here. So I'm looking at the distance right here. That's about right. And then his lip is about the distance of this. So I'm doubling this. So now I know, I know the uh, that's the opening for the, his mouth right here. And it's pretty horizontal. So I'm just going to draw a line across. And his lower lip is slightly smaller than the upper one, it looks like. Okay, so if we double this, I'm just going to come back up slightly. That should give us the lower lip line. Let's see the corner of the lip. Yeah, probably somewhere around here. And this one, maybe somewhere around here. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm starting to slant already. Okay, so I think that's the shape of his lip. So now let's go for it and let's shade it in. But the mustache right here is the shadow area. That's going to help define the, the lip underneath too. So again, um, more shading on a mustache. So shorter strokes, you can just kind of see um, the darker areas and then just kind of punch it in like this. You know, because it's, there's a lot of variation in, in this mustache, but it does have a general shading, you know, just like, because if you treat this as one object, you know, there is certain roundness to it. So you have to get that too. Okay, so the bottom here. So this part is pretty dark. It's gonna kind of hit that pretty dark. Okay, let's give this one shade. The lower lip looks like the highlights right around here. So I'm gonna leave this a little bit wider. This right here is a little bit darker. This part right here is pretty flat. There's some texturing going on here. All right, let's try, let's, well, let's fill in the rest so we know what's going on here. Let's see where we are with the first pass. This mustache is gonna dip down here, slightly lower than the lip right here, right? So we just judge that distance. Come back up. See if we can get the face shape correct. There's a really dark area right here. You can almost just use that as like a reference. So you draw this first and then you draw the rest. Okay, so this will be the beard. Let's just give this one shade first. My pencil is getting dull now. Oops, this could be wrong. This line's wrong. Okay, let's come back up here. This hair could be a little kind of fun to, to shade. Uh, it's got a lot of rim lighting, which is really cool from the side. Really bright. So let's see the the forehead. How can I judge that? Let's see. It's a little bit trickier. If I double the, sp the space of the forehead, it looks like it's right around here. 
So I double that. Maybe somewhere around there. Yeah, sometimes it's harder to find the uh, the reference points. So you just kind of have to go for it and then to see where you are. <laughs> just see how it looks. Okay, so right here, this part's darker. Come down right around here. So it needs to come out a little bit more. And then the middle part here. Okay, so let's just give this one shade as well. Uh, the really bright highlight there, I'm just going to ignore it because sometimes it looks a little bit strange. Okay, so how's that look? So the hair, um, I'm just going to skip that for now. I'm not sure what to do yet, but let's join some of this just to frame everything. This is actually his face and then the, his hair. Hair, see. Yeah, I might have to actually draw in those ind individual strands like that. Which might not be too bad. Yeah, this side. I'm just trying to frame it so that it looks a little bit better. And then we always need the neck. Collar. Okay. All right, let's skip all that. Let's come back to the face because, you know, this is the most interesting part. And let's try to shade in uh, some of the features here. Okay, so let's give in, let's give a second pass to this. Yeah, I'm just going to look back and forth. It's much darker here. It's kind of expression here. I got to get this. Let's work on the forehead. Let me, this is very tricky right here. So I'm just going to draw in, let's see, this crease line right here. This right here is cool. Oh, I have to get this or else we're going to lose the expression. Line, line. And then this part, this is actual terminated, terminated here. The, the lights from the top. And it ends here, and then this is all bounce light on right between the brow right here. This part's darker. Yeah, those creases really help right now you can see now the eye and everything kind of makes sense there's another crease line here another one on top and then this is all darker so behind the hair obviously this is dark and it creates a little bump here because there's creases here. So the shadow kind of runs along here. So that, that's actually very important so that you can actually feel this, this bump here, this crease. Okay, let's come back here. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, let's come down here. We need to add some 
attention to the cheeks right here because he's got very powerful cheeks, cheekbone. I get that manly look. See shadow here. Highlights right around here. Okay, so this is lighter. Right here, slightly lighter. So this part needs to be dark. I might need to sharpen up my pencil. It's getting a little dull. But the good thing about a blunt pencil, you know, you do shade a little bit faster. But then sometimes it gets really muddy. And like I can't see what I'm actually shading. Um, so it's good and bad. Sometimes you want cleaner lines. It's harder to see like the, the small patches when the pencil is so dull. Continue on this side. This side's actually okay. I think I got it. I like this side. It was very loose. Um, I did end up getting more areas correct quickly, so that was good. Okay, so I'm, I need, yeah, I'm gonna need to sharpen my pencil, but if you just look at this, uh, let's see, the shapes are coming about, so I think it's okay. Kind of looks like him, so let's just keep going with a sharper pencil. All right, so here's my much uh, sharper pencil. So now we can hit Let's see, I'm thinking, let's come back up to the eye. I, I want to maybe clean up some of the areas right here before I move on. So much sharper pencil, I can hit these areas. Because now that I've got pretty much all the shapes in, all the elements in, I can't change it too much, so. So now I can hit things a little bit harder and just kind of go for it. Let's try to work on this area. Slightly darker here. Not too light overall. I'm gonna make that a little bit brighter, a little darker. Right here it's a little darker. Yeah, very subtle. Jesus, every time I look at him, like you see different things almost. Here's dark. Bottom here is dark. This curves around here. The eye socket area. So this is like a ball right here. So here's the terminator. Dark, dark, very dark right here. This is gonna fade out. Slight shading here. Back to this part here. This needs to be darker. And then we're back to the brow. Yeah, this area is really cool. So the eyebrow here, there's variations. So I'm trying to look at those little areas where it's darker. Like right here, then I'll push that in. Like right here is a little bit sharper. Comes down slightly a little bit here. Okay, and that's gonna, because if, if you just draw, like, you know, shade it kind of flat, everything kind of looks kind of dead, so. Again, these are much smaller details. Uh, normally I would do this with the camera off and, you know, put my head over it. But since I always turn the camera off at, at this stage, 
I'm thinking maybe it would be good if I leave it on and Terminate here, this little patch right here. Right here is darker. And if there's any area I don't really like or don't feel like it's correct, just dab it. Kind of get rid of some of it and Start over, hopefully I can even things out. But I right here the uh, because I went over so many times, it's really smooth, so it's not a good thing. It's losing its the paper is losing its tooth, losing its grip. So when I draw it over again, it just kind of slides around. And that's when that's when you know you've kind of messed up. <laughs> you know, that I've messed up and you know, went over a little bit too much. It's very tricky right here. Okay, so let's see, let's let's draw part of the nose. It's got a very strong looking nose right here. A little bit of white here. Kind of curves around. So we'll make this part a little bit darker. This part needs to be way darker. This eye here needs to be a little bit darker. I'll bring out the highlight, the rim lighting on the nose right there. This line right here. Okay, so that's the process. Um, that's what I would do with the camera off. Just kind of, um, you know, watch the small little areas and really look at the details. Short little strokes, just trying to hit those areas. Do them in patches. And yeah, sometimes fun, you know, sometimes a little bit of grind, but it's kind of fun, you know, when you when you start to see, um, start feeling the uh, you know the, the the face coming out. You know, you feel the the structure, the weight of the drawing of the of the skin, and just different elements. And it's cool, you know. It's very re um, very re rewarding. I have a hard time saying that. And that's what kind of keeps me going. Is when you see when I start seeing things uh, turn out, you know, you can start feeling the character, the mood or whatever it is that you're drawing. Yeah, but sometimes it doesn't turn out that way, you know, a lot of times it's just you're drawing it, you start feeling, oh my god, this is kind of crappy. So you do what you can, I mean, you see how I start some of my drawings, you know, they turn out pretty crappy at the beginning. And sometimes I can salvage it and sometimes I can't, but it's all part of the process. Okay, so I come back and and you know, a lot more of these small little strokes later on to to add in the details and really soften things up. And if any areas like this again, it's I'm drawing it wrong, just dab it slightly, 
hopefully um, there's still some enough textures on the paper I can fix things and have it not be all smoothed out. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I'm gonna put my head over this and, and finish, uh, especially the hair, uh, it's gonna be a lot of shading. And let's see if I were to, well, let's, let's, let's try one little strand here, how's that? This one coming down here. So the thing with this hair, unfortunately, there's there's no shortcut. Um, you almost have to draw in all the lines first, and you kind of want to do that because you don't want to start shading hair without drawing the lines because you know it's a lot more shading on the hair, and you don't want to you know re you don't want to erase those things out and then start shading again. So sometimes it's worth it, you know. Um, to be a little bit more careful. I think for the hair, that's a perfect example for that. Here's darker, so it's gonna come. Draw this strand right here. Maybe something like that. Okay, so here's a strand. So all this is kind of darker, so I'm just gonna give this one shade first. And then let's go ahead and start shading this. So here's one strand. And then this part here is darker. There's another strand that comes in here. Now there's a dark part here because this tucks in. And then this one comes out right here. This one comes out. It's darker here. It's very dark down here. Hope you guys can see what I'm trying to do here. It's very, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of maddening, but again, you know, we don't have to draw the whole. We don't have to shade everything. Um, as long as we have some cool areas, you know, like on the hair, and then you leave the rest kind of with just line drawings or whatever, very light shading. Actually, it looks okay, you know, because sometimes you shade all the hair, it just becomes. I don't know, to me it becomes a little distracting. It's like it takes away from the from the face. So I kind of like to leave the, uh, the artistic element in there. As opposed to just doing it realistically. All right, so short strokes, is, um, slowly but surely it's, it's coming about. So now I'm seeing here, right, this, this part on the edge is a little bit darker. There's almost a little curly shapes here. Whiter here. Or darker here actually. And then to make this strand uh, come out, it's gonna we're gonna have to draw the other one, right? The one on the back. So this part's a little bit darker here. So very subtle and just building up layers. Okay, so now that I have kind of the, the shape, right? Now I'm gonna come in here, add in slightly more detail. It's really cool, these, these curls. I mean, if you, if you take the time in doing this, it's actually really nice at the end. I've seen a lot of drawings. Um, with this kind of hair, just it's a lot more interesting than than flowing hair. You know, flowing hair is kind of boring, and it's a lot of those little uh, long strokes. This is is very curly, um, so it doesn't have a lot of movement other than the big strands. But in terms of shading, your strokes are a little bit smaller, and it actually looks really nice. So I'm taking the time here to try to show you guys. Hopefully I can make it nice as well. So hopefully you can if you can start feeling the the weight of this, the clumping in here. 
then they will be successful. There's some white lines, and if you if you like, you come back with like a really sharp eraser. You can actually take some of those out, but I can't do it here. Like a really nice and hard eraser, you can actually add in some of those lines back. But again, yeah, maybe that's not a good idea because that's a lot more of those small detail. And you kind of want to keep the detail level consistent overall or else, you know, things. So like right here looks a lot more realistic than this area, right? It's nice and soft. All right, so uh, let's see. Yeah, I really like this part. I might end up doing more of the hair because it is so so cool. Um, and it didn't take that long, right? So it's not that bad. All right, so I'm going to uh, definitely continue this. I'm going to turn off the camera and put my head over this. And hopefully I'll have, I should have a much better drawing because it's, it's looking like him already. So hopefully I won't screw this up. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and here's my final drawing for this. And I say final because I was still working on this, you know, just right before this, because uh, once I see it again with a fresh eye, I saw all these little errors. So I was able to just kind of come in and uh, fix some of the shadings. But I'm going to stop because overall, I think I have enough. And this is one of those drawings where you can kind of keep going forever, forever, because there's so many uh, complexity to this. But I'm just going to stop here because I think I captured his, uh, his look, his expression. And the shading was fun, and the hair was really fun actually, so I, I did more of that. Um, I think this part uh, where I showed on camera was the best. Over here I kind of got lazy, and you can kind of tell that the strokes are not as soft. It's a little bit rougher, you know, right here is a little bit better. So, yes, that's why, you know, you just kind of have to stop <laughs> after a while because it's just too much little details. And then on the bottom here, I just kind of fade everything out, since I obviously the uh, clothes are not as interesting to draw. All right, and uh, this was a little bit smaller than the other House of the Dragon uh, portraits that I've been drawing. So I really have to keep my pencil nice and sharp in order to get all those little details. Um, but in a way, it's a little bit better because when it's smaller, you can shade it a lot quicker, you know, whereas a big drawing that's just really daunting. So I think for this one, it actually worked out really well. All right, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you guys next time.